Hey developers, today we're going to talk about the tech shortage. Is there a real tech shortage? We keep on hearing about these articles that we have to get more developers out there, that there's all these companies looking for developers, they can't find any. We have H1B visas systems out there to get more tech workers in the United States because we can't find enough. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on that. Is there a real tech shortage out there? And also, I'm going to look at a few other articles that explains this process too. Let's begin. And also, by the way, stay all the way to the end. And I have a special announcement, so stay tuned. So I'll give credit where credit is due. I actually got this idea from Chris Hawks. He made a video just a few days ago on there is no tech shortage. If you don't know, Chris Hawks is another YouTuber. And his uh, general ideas was that it's an employee's market that we have a lot of a lot of leverage when we want to go for job interviews, that there's a lot of people out there. He also made some comments that uh, that a lot of employers aren't willing to pay the amount of money to find talented people. And actually, I left a comment on this video. I said, uh, there's a shortage of qualified developers, and that's what we're going to talk about that there are thousands of developers trying to get jobs in tech. Most employers are getting flooded with applicants, especially on the web development side. However, finding someone who has experience and can pass the current technical interviews that a lot of employers put out there is rare. And that's why it's so important to, to stand out from the crowd. And, and he replied that the issue is there is a large demand for people who know their stuff for 120K a year. Why would they leave to take on more responsibility? If somebody wants to me to leave my position, they need to pay at least 140,000. Most don't want to do that. If they did, they would get some qualified people. The skills they bring to the table are developers cost a lot more on our part to master. Therefore, the employers need to pay up. And so I think his general idea is that at, when you get to the high end, when you get to senior developers who are getting paid more than 100,000, like 120, 130, depending on where you live, that might be average. But I mean, that you can get into pretty high salaries that a lot of employers aren't willing to pay that amount. So it's kind of interesting thought on it. Definitely what my idea is, is that I don't really think, and just kind of like I said right there, I really don't think there's a tech shortage. You know, I think there's this market that we're in is getting flooded by thousands of developers that are just trying to either switch careers because everybody's talking about tech and how much they pay, or they're coming right out of school. A lot of them right, right out of high school. They don't even bother going to college anymore because the general perception out there is that you don't need a college education and that and that you can just uh, study free code camp. And if you really need to spend some money, maybe get a boot camp, although some of the boot camps are just as expensive as a four-year college nowadays. But that's the way to go. And so we're just seeing so many people flood into the industry. And I know this firsthand because I've seen the applicants that have come through my the place where I work and the, the, the job I was at before. We have a constant amount of people applying for any positions that we we're looking for. And we're in, in Reno, Nevada. So definitely not a huge tech hub by any stretch of the imagination. But we're definitely getting a lot of applicants. But that doesn't mean we're getting qualified applicants. Definitely the, the people that are applying are, are pretty... I mean, there's definitely some outstanding applicants, but for the most part, there's a lot of people that are in the average side that that aren't, uh, they don't have a lot of experience in the technologies that we're looking for. So I think that goes back to the point that there isn't a ton of qualified developers. And if you're watching this video right now and you're trying to become a qualified developer, I'll give you some suggestions and ideas of how to do that. Obviously, most important is to get experience. But we'll, we'll touch on that issue in a little bit. I, I wanted to bring up some other articles about this topic, which I find it interesting. One is this uh, this Hacker News article right here. And the Hacker News article said um, that here's an alternative view. And he's saying that I recently went through a process of hiring a programmer. I probably interviewed 30 candidates. All of them had the required knowledge and experience listed on their CVs. But only about three could actually get through the uh, create a simple program in the language that they they had. So definitely there is there is this uh, gap between what people say they know and what they actually know. And on top of this, um, some of these people in the hacker news, I won't bore you with all this because it is it is quite boring and they go back and forth. But another idea is that that the industry has has really proclaimed um, these businesses have said, oh, there's a tech shortage, tech shortage. So that way they can get more H1B, H1B visa workers. So if you're not in the United States and you're watching this, this is actually good for you guys, although it's a lottery system, so it's really hard to get in. 
but they can actually pay those people less money than what they would pay get paid if they just went and put an ad out in you in and hired locally in the United States. So this guy says the general conclusion is there is no shortage and the complaints by various large businesses about a lack of trained people is a strategy to to pay lower wages and spend less on training. This has been known over a decade. So once again, they rather a lot of businesses rather pay less money. So that's why they're getting like H1B visa workers and then they complain that they can't find enough people. And that's another thing, uh, another article, and I'll put this all these links in the description bef before that the tech shortage is a lie. And they kind of, this person had the same kind of sense where they're, they're getting a ton of talents, uh, a ton of applicants, but they don't have a whole lot of talent in that pool. And one thing that is one, one way to think about it is that businesses really need to spend time developing the tech talent they need internally instead of trying to keep hiring out. But there's that's a double-edged sword, of course. If you are hiring low-paying workers, like let's say you hire someone right out of college and you pay them a low wage, and then you, you develop that talent internally, which is great, and you're not the employer doesn't need to go out and hire a, another developer. But typically, in, especially in the development world, your raises don't always equal up to the market rate of your skills. So a good developer can get hired on for a low rate, let's say $50,000 a year, and they'll get their annual raises and they may actually make, after they become you know, a senior developer, they could be only making like $70,000 a year, $60,000 a year, because they only got those minimum raises every year. So that really, um, it really, that, that talent is 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 not going to get paid as much as they're supposed to and a lot of them will end up moving to different jobs and that's another problem in the industry that we're in is that when the talented people in, in the actual really talented developers are such in demand that it usually doesn't make sense to be loyal to one company for a long time so they end up kind of jumping from company to company i mean that seems to happen a lot in in mountain view and and in the bay area where you have google facebook uh, Amazon, LinkedIn, you have all these companies that are fighting over these tech workers and the really talented workers can just change companies and get, you know, huge raises that they would never get if they stayed in the company they're at. So maybe that leads to part of the problem where we have these, we just have these few talented engineers and we just don't have enough, um, we just don't have enough of those talented people. And maybe, I guess, so... I guess it depends if you have a, a company that would be able to develop their engineers internally to bring them up to speed to make them senior developers, but then also pay those market rates, then I think that would help solve some of the problem. So what does that mean for you guys that are listening right now that want to become a really good developer? Well, of course, just like anything else in life, you need to put the work into it to be able to get what you want out of it. So if you're going to work really hard, you need to start, well, first, the most important thing I would say is try to get a job in, as a developer, even if it's an internship, even if you have to take a pay cut, going and working that day in and out is important for your skills, continuously learning, and also finding ways to stand out. So try to become an expert in, in at least one area that you're learning. So if you're learning web development, maybe become an expert in React or Ember.js or some framework. Um, that will lead you to be, uh, that will really uh, show your skills and you'll be able to to stand out from the crowd. So I guess overall, just to put a wrap, wrapping this all up, that there is a definitely, uh, there is a lot of people getting into this industry. There is no short, shortage of tech talent, but there is a shortage of talented people and that will always be the case. So if you want to get into this industry and be successful, you need to work really hard and you need to um, you know, level up quickly too and stand out from the crowd if you want to uh, be in demand. And I, I definitely think that that's true. I mean, one, one other quick anecdote, anecdote before we go and a quick story. When I first started looking for jobs in, in, uh, as a programmer right out of college and I even had a college education, I mean, I, I applied for many places. I mean, it took me quite a few um, interviews to land my first job. So I think that's just an idea of that employers are being picky. They don't have to, to hire you. They have 10 other people applying at the same time.
If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. Oh, and for the people that stayed all the way to the end, I am giving you a free copy of my Vue.js in action book. I will give one person that. To enter, you need to see in the below, there is a link to enter the contest. It'll sign you up for my mailing list. Go ahead and click on that and you should be entered in and uh, just put your email address in. I will pick someone in probably in a week, I will. Also, uh, one other quick note, Udemy is this is the last day for the Udemy sale. They have a $10 sale, so check udemy.com. Actually, go ahead and just click on the links below. I have some of my favorite courses. Those are affiliate links, by the way. So thanks, take care.